Hello the internet, Matthew here with another episode of Whiteboard Hero where I bring you an expert in a thing who will teach you about the thing. How smooth is the last one? No, but yeah. I'm catching on now. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm here with the lovely Andrea Silo, an incredible acupuncturist who will talk to you today about... Needling technique. Okay, good. <laughs> So there's lots of different ways that we manipulate the needle, um, but I figured the easiest thing to talk about is actually how deep the needle goes because that freaks everybody out. <laughs> well, it freaks a lot of people out. It freaks yeah. a lot of people out. Um, so uh, this is a needle here. And as we and know, it's roughly as thick as a human hair. Yes, I have. We'll be demonstrating in just a minute, so you can actually see how thick the needle is. Mm -hmm. Very, very small. Um, but uh, so this is a, my very accurate description of the needle. <laughs> and then this is my very accurate description of your body. So you to have, scale, by the yeah, way. Yeah, to scale. Yeah, this is clearly what, yes, yeah. that's an arm. <laughs> so you have the different layers of the skin. You go a bit deeper, you get into the layers of the muscles, and then you can go all the way into the bone. So different needling techniques will happen at different depths, um, mm -hmm. and that's sort of depending on what you're doing. So general stimulation of an acupuncture point usually happens within the layers of the skin. You don't have to go very deep in order to get to the point. Um, some needling techniques, so for example, uh, Japanese needling is very, very superficial, and some Japanese techniques actually don't puncture the skin. They actually just press the tip of the needle right to the very surface of the skin, and then very quickly, excuse me, very quickly stimulate it, and that's what activates the point. Stimulate it by like, uh, but actually, it's hard to demonstrate with my left hand because I'm not a lefty, but you would hold the needle kind of between your, your finger and your thumb and then very quickly vibrate your thumb back and forth. Oh, vibration. Yeah, okay. so it's called SRI needling. Um, yeah, so that's one way of uh, you know sort of needling very superficially. Um, then you have some deeper techniques that actually go into the muscle. So, for example, when I do something like trigger point dry needling, mm. that's when I'm actually feeling for knots within the muscle, and then the needle will penetrate into that knot, and then you kind of poke at it, and that forces the muscle to contract so that and it can fully release, and then you have the okay. I'll tell you, as a massage therapist, there have been times I've been on a stubborn trigger point going, man, I wish I could just like take a nail and like hammer this out. Yeah, well, that's what the acupuncture Apparently, acupuncturists can do that. <laughs> that's, that's, well, that's what dry needling does. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, why don't you, uh, you got you got one needle? I do got one needle. Go ahead. So, here we go. Let's, let's go. We're going to come a little come closer to the closer. camera so you can see exactly how that is. So, she okay. has it in the little shroud so, here. Yeah, so, here it goes. So, you have your, your needle, and this is a guide tube, which is in. Um, some really great acupuncturists can actually just freehand it in there, um, but I'm not that good. So no. we're going to use the guide tube. Um, so we'll just use kind of a point. This is a point on the triple here channel right in here. Right there. Feel that? Yep. So we'll press the guide tube in. And you just let the needle fall like that. I mm -hmm. give it a little tap just to make sure it really is in there. And then very quickly, that's it. Yep. And then depending on what you're doing, different types of stimulation uh, will activate the point differently. And um, so yeah, there it is. That's it. So like on the table, she'll <laughs> she'll like twist this thing until all of a sudden it goes. And as you can see by my face when she did it, it's not like oh my god, it, like yeah. I can't really even feel this. Yeah. Until go ahead, do, <laughs> do the thing. Until we start doing some more manipulation with the needle. So depending on what exactly it is that we're trying to do, oh, I should have done my nails. And it's not again. It's that. not like I could feel the needle. I don't feel the needle. I feel like that. It almost, almost feels like I, like I can actually kind of feel like um, it's traveling throughout the channel. That's yeah, like I can actually Did feel. You? It feels like almost like warm water, just kind of like like mm -hmm. just moving now down through through my arm. And mm -hmm. oh, yeah. just gotta watch. Don't don't try to move yeah, your muscles. Don't that your will fingers. hurt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was almost that. like reflexive. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It was almost reflexive. Mm -hmm. And I'll say sometimes on the table too, like you know, she'll put needles in, and I'm and like there are these tiny little things, and I feel like I just can't. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So, Andrea, thank you very much. You're welcome. So, from Andrea and Matt, this has been another episode of Whiteboard Hero. Hope you got some value. Catch you on the next one. See you later.